Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, have your way. You're welcome in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Welcome, everybody. God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I have some business and I don't have a quite, I don't have a lot of time. Let's see, let's say it like that to get this message out. So I welcome you guys in. I thank you guys so much. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kiera Woodard. I am a minister of the gospel. Hallelujah. I'm a messenger for God. Hallelujah. I love the Lord with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And I love you as well in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because how many of you know without love, we don't have nothing. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. So I had a couple of dreams and I'm having to learn, guys, how to relay the dreams in a way that you guys can understand because dreams can be very symbolic. And let me introduce myself for those who are new. Excuse me. I'm trying to get through this fast. My name is Kiera Woodard. Hallelujah. If you're new to the channel, please join us. We'd love to have you. Welcome to the family. I love you. I'm coming with messages. I'm coming with the rhema word. Hallelujah. I'm coming with the word of God. I'm coming with the book. I'm coming with the truth and nothing but the truth. And if I make a mistake, I will let you know. Hallelujah to God be all the glory because how many of you know ain't none of us perfect to God be the glory. Hallelujah. But I strive to be like Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I love you with the love of Christ to God be all the glory. So we'd love to have you a part of the family. Amen. Please feel free to drop comments in the comment box. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I put my information in a lot of the, a lot of the videos. So just go back and look at the videos. I'll put the information in this video as well. Amen. But if I forget to put it in any videos, just check another video out. Amen. I'm here to equip you. I'm here to train you to be all that God has called you to be. Amen. To edify you, to get into that ministry, to start whatever it is that God has called you to do. Amen. Hallelujah. And to know that you are royalty. Hallelujah. Because a lot of people come to the kingdom of God. Amen. And they do not realize that they are royalty. Amen. That they are heirs of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because Jesus came that we may have life and life more abundantly. Hallelujah. That's not a part of my message today, but that is a part of my mission to God be the glory. So let's talk. Okay. So the dreams that I have. I've had quite a few dreams and I am going to be talking about some public figures and I was like, I'm like, God, you know what? I really don't want to do that because I'm not trying to piggyback off of nobody. Amen. But God says to me, child of God, they all children. They all my children. Ain't nobody better than the next one. So put the message out. I gave it to you because I trust you and I know that you'll get the job done. So here I am, Lord, send me hallelujah to God be the glory. And I thank him for entrusting me. Amen. So let's talk suicide, mental illness, issues, PMS, and love. Amen. To God be the glory. I just want to give this quick message to Kiera Sherry. He wants me to explain. I'm, and when I say he, I'm talking about the father, our father. Amen. That there's a testing season. I'm going into five years of marriage. I was courting my husband for a year before we got married. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And what I've come to learn is that every couple is going to be different. I'm looking at my notes, y'all. I'm looking at my notes. You can look in my eyes. Amen. I'm not scared of you, okay? <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know. I needed to say that. Amen. Okay. Every couple is different, but there's always a testing season. What I've come to realize for us, it usually is between November the 11th. Me and my husband got married November the 11th of 2017. Amen. There's a testing season between November, December, January, February, and then March. It seems to, to, to you know, settle down. <laughs> and what God has revealed to me is that God is purifying us in this season to pass our tests and to pass your tests. Hallelujah. Pass your tests. I'm not going to say that it's not hard. In the beginning, it was really difficult. But as you get older, you begin to start seeing the connections. You begin to start linking things together. And you have to go through it because, because faith has to be tested. And when you come out of it, you come out of it better. And everything that you go through is to help the person coming behind you. And 
I'm doing the a lot of these videos for prophetic people because the prophetic can get um messy or I don't like to say messy. I want to say complicated, but it's complicated only to people who are not prophetic, right? If you are a prophetic, meaning that you're singing, you're a worshiper, that's a part of the prophetic ministry. You're a psalmist, you're a part of the prophetic ministry. That means that you can go into realms, into the spirit realm, and you can see things, you can connect things, you can see mysteries, um, you can hear things, you can have the gift of knowledge, you can have the gift of wisdom, hallelujah. You have the gift of prophecy, you exhort people, you edify people, you comfort people. That is all a part of the prophetic ministry, amen. You have artistic abilities, most pastors, um, most uh, actors are actually pastors. Most singers in the world are actually supposed to be in the prophetic. Amen. But they chose to use that gift elsewhere. And I'm meaning like, if you're not giving it to God, you're just giving it to the world, but you're not glorifying the Lord with it. That's what I mean. But in actuality, all of our gifts and our callings came from the Lord. Amen. And I have other videos and I'll put out more videos on callings. How do you know what you're gifted in? How do you know what you're called to do? So you will have some clues because I know that that's very helpful. So that's what I had the message for Kier Cheryl Kelly. I know that she's married. She's been in my, she was in my dream. So I know that God wants me to speak that to her. So God bless you, mighty woman of God. In the name of Jesus, may your marriage, may your marriage blossom. Hallelujah. May many people be saved. May many people flourish because of your marriage, because of your union, not even just because of that, but, but who you are in Christ Jesus and who your husband is in Christ Jesus and who God is calling him to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you that no weapon formed against you and your union and your future shall prosper in the name of Jesus. You will be all that God has called you to be in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, mighty woman of God, mighty man of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for the dreams and the visions that you you're giving them, Lord God, to reveal, Father God, who you're calling them to be in the kingdom of God, Lord God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that the evil one does not touch them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah to God be all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. God wants me to talk about PMS. So a lot of people are thinking that they're dealing with mental issues and illnesses when actually you're dealing with PMS. My grandmother actually is uh, has bipolar. My grandma has had to deal with a lot of mental things. My grandma has had dyslexia. My grandma is, I believe, a seer, but she, that's a long story, y'all. I'm not going to, I come from the hood. I picked up the mantle. I said yes to the Lord, but many people in my family did not. So I have um, many mantles that fell on me because, because of it. Amen. But I've seen it. I've seen the, the cycles. I'm a curse breaker. So I've seen it. I see the mystery. So I'm trying to explain this to you as best as I can. I'm trying to I'm trying to explain it to you without it being difficult. But a lot of people, it's PMS, and there's um, maca root pills, and I'll link um, the 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 link to the uh, vitamins that I take. I don't take them. I haven't taken them in a long time. But now I've gotten to a point where I can just be with the Holy Spirit. I can be with the Word of God because I have an understanding on it. When you have an understanding on it, the devil can't fight you there no more because the truth will make you free. Amen. But I still have them because they give you energy and they're just really, really good for you. They help you to maintain a healthy weight. So they're just excellent. Like I, I highly suggest these vitamins. So I'm going to link them for you, especially women that are married. You need to understand sometimes you're having mood swings and you don't understand what in the world is going on. Your husband is like, what in the world is going on? You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot being married. And not only that, having these PMS issues, not only that, being prophetic, you add all of that together. It's a lot. I have a book coming out. I'm going to be talking about all of that. Amen. So you have to understand that the person that you're marrying has to understand you. They have to love you. They have to fall in love with not only just you, but the purpose that God has on your life. Hallelujah. Because you are wired a certain way. Amen. And the world will try to say that you're crazy. The world will call to try to call you all these names. And how many, of you know, when they saying that those are word curses. So I break every word curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Tamar Braxton. Hallelujah. Fantasia. You are not crazy. I want you to know that the enemy, they are putting warlocks and witches against you that come up with these spells. I'm not saying this to scare you. The Lord wants you to know that you are loved. The, lo the Lord wants you to know that you have power. You have authority that he has called you, that you are his in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we bind up a spirit of suicide. We bind up every witch, every warlock, every curse that they try to bring against you in the name of Jesus, try to make you think that you are crazy. You are not crazy. You are very sane. You have a high calling on your life and God loves you with 
God loves you with an everlasting love. Hallelujah. I'm speaking fast. Forgive me, Father God. Let me get this message out. I got, I got, I got to go. To God be the glory. I love y'all so much. I just have to get that out for you. Hallelujah. Love, 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 love. You are love. My God, you are love. You are loved. Thank you, Jesus. So, I can explain to you in my dream how I know to give you guys this message, but it would be too complicated. It would make the video too long. But if you guys are interested in that, for dream interpretation and everything like that, or you're having dreams and you need help interpreting your dreams, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to put all the information in the description box, but I want to make sure that I get out what God wants me to get out. He wants to make sure that you stay pure. Everybody I spoke about in this message, everybody that's watching this message, stay pure. It is very, very, very important to the Lord. When you're prophetic, because you feel things, you sense things, you know things. People are like, how do you know that? Because you know things because the Lord has given you that gift. It's called the gift of knowledge. I can hear conversations sometimes just like you watching this video. Sometimes the Lord allows you to hear conversations of other people because he wants you to help those people and those individuals when they come to you to be ready. That's a part of the prophetic. You can prophesy into the future. You can prophesy into a person's current situation, a person's current circumstance to turn that thing around. You can pray for them. You can intercede for them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, be the interceptor. Hallelujah. You get privilege, privilege to things, to know things before they come so that you can have a pure heart to be able to intercept whatever the enemy is trying to do. Amen. But if your heart is not pure, God cannot use it the way that he wants to use you. So that is why the enemy works over time to attack prophetic people, because he knows that if he can get you off guard, if he knows he can get you off post, then he knows that. Then he knows that he can he can get that mission that God is wanting you to do. He knows that he can distract you and get you off a of mission, get you off post. So, my God, stay pure. Stay in the word of God. That's how you stay pure. You stay in the, how does a young man keep himself pure? I'm talking about Psalms. Hallelujah. He said, by gardening with the word of God, my God, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for your word. That is a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. To God be all the glory. Amen. Love. Now I'm going to talk about this last issue. And then I have, I have, I wanted to tell you everything I wrote down, but I, like I said, it would take too long. So let me just give you this last snippet that he wants me to tell you. Sex is spiritual. Sex is mm, 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 good. Amen. The Lord gave it to us. Hallelujah. For husband and for wife. It is a gift that he gave for husband and for wife. The two become one. Amen. The flesh become one. And it ain't nobody else's but you and your partner, you and your spouse, because it is a gift from the Lord. And when you do it correctly, then the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in your union. And the Holy Spirit is in that thing with you. And it gets to a whole nother level. And it's mm. Mm, good hallelujah to god be the glory it's meant for marriage okay it's given by god sex is spiritual now why am i saying this we're talking about suicide we're talking about mental illness we're talking about issues we're talking about pms we're talking about love amen and when you don't do it the correct way it causes mental issues. People don't talk about this. But when you're having sex with Tom, Dick, and Harry, and everybody else, and Nate, and whoever, 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 they didn't have sex with all of these different partners, and it's spiritual. So what is happening is these demonic spirits are coming into individuals that are doing sex the wrong way, fornication, adultery. And what is happening is people are starting to have mental illnesses because of it. So God has put me on this mandate. Amen to be able to combat, to intercept what the enemy is planning to do. So I come against it. I break it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I come against ignorance because the people, the people perish because of a lack of knowledge. So I'm bringing you knowledge. I'm bringing you understanding. I'm bringing you this information because you can help somebody else. If it's not you, you can help somebody else. Hallelujah. So that they don't have to go through the battle. People are killing themselves because of mental illness. People are killing themselves because of these things, because these are spiritual things that are getting inside of them and they don't know how this is happening and, or they're not having enough discipline to tell the devil, no, you can't open your legs up to everybody, baby. You're precious. You're beautiful. You're royalty. Hallelujah. God says you are his. 
He said he bought you with a high price. To God be all the glory. He said that you are his temple. He wants to dwell in you. Amen. The Holy Spirit wants to live in you. No, nah, brother, you can't just come over here like that. You can't just do me no any kind of way. I belong to the Lord. You are a child of God. You are royalty. So what does that mean? You are a king and you are a queen. Can't nobody just handle you no any kind of way. Let me bring it on down. I hear you, Holy Spirit. I love y'all. Please understand that you are so worthy. You are so worthy. I love you so much. I hear you, Father God. Tyrese, you are loved. I know that situation did not work out the way that you wanted it to work out. But the Father loves you. You are still called. You are still chosen. To God be the glory. Amen. God got something so much better for you. Amen. 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 That was... who I don't want to go that deep right there, Lord Jesus. Help me. I have to do another video for that one right there. But uh, brother, know that I'm praying for you. And if I'm praying for you, that means that the Father has put you in the spirit realm. And I'm not the only one praying for you. It means that God has put you in the spirit realm. That means that people are praying for you. To God be the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. I love you, Lord God, so much. You can't just be laying down with everybody, y'all. Please. I don't want to see nobody else go crazy. Because the enemy has an assignment that he put out for 2022 to make people go mad, to make people go crazy. And I, I come against it. I come against it. If we got intercessors watching this video, please continue to pray. Put out a video. Help your people. I don't care. I don't got to get no credit. You ain't got to give me no credit because all the glory belongs to the Lord. Amen. My assignment is complete. To God be all the glory. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord bless you. May his countenance be upon you in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I lift you up to the Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for being so very mindful of us, Lord God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for wisdom, Lord God. You said that if we ask you, we give it to us generously, Lord God. I thank you for the precious Holy Spirit that you have given, that you have entrusted to us, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for your redemption, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for just everything, Lord God, because you didn't have to do it, Lord God. If it hadn't been for the Lord who was on my side, I don't know where I'd be. So I thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you that no weapon formed against these babies shall be able to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus because they belong to you and the evil one does not touch them. I thank you, Lord God, for re removing deception and every lie that the enemy has tried to implant because everything that tries to exalt itself above the name of Christ Jesus has to be brought down in the name of Jesus. Every lofty imagination, we cast it down in the mighty name of Jesus. To God be all the glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I love you guys so much.